Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man, and it's time to make some soap. So, the past three weeks, I've been doing a pour that I saw Katie Carson do on Royalty Soaps and loved it. So I did a purple one, a blue one, and a green one, and you all seem to have really enjoyed it. And last week, somebody wrote in on the comments on the green one and suggested doing one of these with pink. So why not? That's actually a good idea. Pink's not one of my favorite particular colors, but I think this would look very good in pink. So, for the dark, I'll be using Nurture Soaps, Pink Vibrance, Titanium Dioxide for the white, Brambleberries Electric Bubble Gum for the medium pink, and Nurture Soaps Amaranth Pink for the light, and Nurture Soaps Activated Charcoal for the black. I'm going to be scenting this with Crafter's Choice Pink Grapefruit. This is an awesome fragrance. I'm a little concerned because this pour to look good and have the nice swirls and the even colors and not have everything muddled needs to be relatively thick, semi-thick. And this Pink Grapefruit actually slows your trace down, so I may have to use the stick blender a little bit more, but we'll see. I may have to adjust these colors with some uh, TD as well to get the desired pink, but let's just go ahead and get started and see what we come up with. So we'll make a little bit of noise and achieve a very light emulsification. Call it, divide it into five containers, color it, scent, and pour it, like always. I'm soaping at about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Good to start. And as usual, I'm going to eyeball this because it doesn't have to be exact. Close is good enough. do apologize. I know you're not fully in frame. I'll get you back in in just a second when I get these split up. And I am going to scrape this container out because I'm finished with it for now, but I'm going to pour back into it, so I want it as clean as possible. So I don't have uncolored soap mixing with those pretty pinks. side for now. So I am going to pour in this order. We will start with our pink vibrance. Kind of a heaping teaspoon into that amount. Now 
Next is our titanium dioxide, which is already pre-mixed with oil. Next is our electric bubble gum from Brambleberry. And it's a really, really bright one. Kind of a heaping teaspoon of it. And our activated charcoal, which you all know I love. Put about two teaspoons of it. pink and let's see what this looks like. I have not used this at all. So I'm going to stir the colors in by hand to start. And I usually start lightest to darkest, and I should have, I kind of forgot, so let me clean my whisk off, and then we'll go lightest to darkest from here on. So next is our white. And our amaranth pink. Bubblegum pink. And our activated charcoal. These are just barely emulsified, way too thin to pour, and the fragrance is going to probably slow it down. So I'm going to go ahead and put our fragrance in. Just eyeballing it close is good enough. And go ahead and stick blend these because I've used this fragrance and I know it behaves, actually slows down, and I'm going to want it to thicken up some. Lightest to darkest, start with our white. Go to our amaranth pink. Bubblegum pink. Then our pink vibrance pink. like they are. Let's see, how 
ever I'm trying to debate do I try to pour it now I'm going to give this just a minute. I'll be right back, folks. Okay, now I think we're in a little bit better position to pour. So let's go ahead and start to pour. Still a little thin. Final pass. And believe it or not, I still think this is too thin. I'm going to stop this and I'll be right back. All right, let's try this again. It's still really fluid. This is the best fragrance when you need plenty of time to pour.
give it a little squirt of rubbing alcohol to prevent soda ash. Let it sit about five minutes and spray it again and put it to bed. And we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. So, folks, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, everybody, 11 hours later, it's time to cut our soap, and I think we're going to have some pretty good results with the pink, so let's just cut it and see. Here we go. Are you ready? Awesome, 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 awesome. That pour is just absolutely amazing. Okay, so let's cut. be right back okay so I cut this into three and now I'm going to cut it crossways so this block let's see this would be the traditional cut but I'm going to cut it on the face and see if we get some of that in it Some meddling. I did get some meddling from that thin batter. I don't see much difference that way, so let's see. I'll cut this one traditionally.
then this one I will cut instead of this way I'll cut it this way the way you cut a Taiwan bar a Taiwan swirl soap Yeah, I'd love that cross cut like that. See, that's actually the top of the soap. Very nice. So, I got some muddling with some of the colors because that batter was so thin. But then I got some of them where there's much less muddling. So, really happy with those. Even ones that did get some of the color muddling together still turned out really nice. So, once again, really happy. This fragrance oil is great. It holds up great. Happy with the pink color. So... Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll see you next week. All right, bye.